the eco sensitive vinyl the lush green vinyl bordering the deccan plateau is blessed with a rich and diverse wildlife sanctuary the vinyl wildlife sanctuary spread over an area of 344 square kilometers is the second biggest sanctuary in kerala rich in biodiversity it houses rare and endangered species of a variety of flora and fauna there are four different ranges in vinyl sultan batheri muttanga korichiyad and tolpetti a variety of wild animals such as elephant tiger and indian bison are among those wild animals living in the sanctuary there are also quite a few unusual birds including peafowl sighted in the sanctuary it is bestowed with lush green forests and rich wildlife part of the nilgiri biosphere reserve the vinyl wildlife sanctuary is bordered with nagarhole and bandipur in karnataka and mudumalai in tamil nadu majority of the farmers in the district form part of the second and third generation of farmers who had migrated from south kerala and many of them live and have plantations in the fringe areas of the forest but there are aborigines and native tribals who are actually the part of the forest life along with a small number of native families mainly depending on agriculture also reside in vinyl the mixed population hold different interests also some do harm to the biosphere whereas some contribute to maintain the balance of nature anyway thanks to the unchecked and bribed supported business activities there are legal as well as illegal quarries and mining in and around the forest but now the union ministry of forests and environment have recently come up with a draft notification categorizing specified areas around the sanctuary as ecologically sensitive zone esz the draft published on january 28th has given 60 days for people to respond with complaints and suggestions the esz once official and in force would put a full stop to all commercial and illegal activities now underway in and around the areas no wonder the farmer community in support of christian diocese and political organizations have expressed their displeasure over the notification the congress led udf has observed a dawn to dusk hartal in the district last day and with the support of almost the entire settlers and vyapari vyavsai ekopan samiti the organization of local businessmen the hartal was near total also according to the draft notification the extent of 0 to 3.4 kilometers around the wildlife sanctuary would fall under the esz many villages in the district border the sanctuary and hence many human settlements in the fringe areas would fall within the zone once the esz is made official strict norms would be in place in land utilization constructions and business activities within the specified areas falling under the zone all commercial and even tourism related activities will be banned in the zone not only that no hydroelectric or drinking water project would get a note felling of trees would also be highly restricted the tussle is between the nature loving environmentalists and the business oriented farming community it is the need of the hour that the environment is protected and for that the esz come into being better late than never please subscribe the channel also click the bell button to get the latest updates